Hey everyone, I'd like to share a practical approach to practicing scales. Good scale practice is important, as you know, and in all my years of playing tons of gigs and all kinds of different styles, my comfort with scales and my facility with scales has been a huge asset. So while there are many ways to practice scales, this particular method incorporates awareness of harmony so that the scale practice is more applicable to improvisation, particularly for jazz, but also for other styles. Before we get into it, a quick reminder about our good practice habits. Always play musically, always have a beautiful sound, strong, clear rhythm, and a clear intention for your articulation. Always play slowly and clearly at first, gradually increasing velocity, and also maintain excellent posture and proper breathing. Finally, one more important thing is that practicing scales, I think is most effective when you practice from memory. Reading a scale exercise at first is certainly fine, and developing reading skills in general is important, but for the purpose of learning scales for improvisation or practicing skills for improvisation, learn the shape and the pattern of the method or the exercise for the scale, then applying that to the 12 keys and then applying the same kind of uh, pattern concept to the different types of scales, major, minor, dominant, seven, etc. cetera, um, that's much more helpful and doing those from within, that's all much more helpful for your improvisation practice. And that'll lead to much more, uh, much more complete mastery of the scales. So now I'll play the exercise for you. I'll let you check it out. <laughs> So that's the major scale version of the exercise. So a couple things to note. First I play the full octave and then I add the ninth note, then back down. And then I go, I follow with a chordal arpeggio, the first, third, fifth, seventh, and ninth. And then I go back down. I played it that way because I want the scale exercise to connect to the underlying harmony. And in general, jazz chords are ninth chords. So since I played the major, version of the exercise, it connects to a major chord. Here's a chord linearly. The way I played it, there's a chord. I play it down an octave where it sounds even hipper. Right? So it's a real jazz sound. And the scale exercise connects pretty directly to that sound. So I think it's a very good exercise for practicing connections to jazz harmony. In addition, I'm thinking of the scale note numbers, which the numbers themselves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1, those numbers connect to sounds, right? They connect to the scale notes themselves. And those numbers do have uh, quite, a bit, quite a few functions in jazz. They connect us to the intervals of uh, the scale. So in other words, if it's a fifth note, and if the root is here, that distance is called a fifth, right? And if it's a third note, it's called a third, etc. So that connection is reinforced by being conscious of the scale note numbers as you're practicing the scale. It also connects to harmonic functions in diatonic situations. And being aware of the scale note numbers can also help you to uh, be conscious of how to change certain note numbers to create different kinds of scales. So now I'll show you the exercise on the screen and you can follow along as I play it one more time. So it's pretty straightforward to take this exercise with our awareness of scale note numbers and modify it to fit other kinds of scales. For example, for the Dorian minor scale, we take the third note and the seventh note, drop those down a half step, and then we can play it in the same pattern and it sounds like this. And I'll show it to you on the screen. So 
So I've made a handout explaining all this, all the details. I've got some examples for different kinds of scales in the key of C. You can download the handout from litchfieldjazzcamp.com or from my website, donbraden.com. If you have any questions or thoughts, please put those in the comments below. Thanks for listening. Happy practicing.